Hi, welcome to Rusangu University uh, e-learning uh, tutorial video. I'm sure by now you know how to go about uh, accessing materials from your uh, e-learning portal, uh, such as your course resource materials, learning materials, um, hold a conversation or a chat with your classmates, um, including your lecturers. So um, for today, we are basically going to address the issue about uh, um, uploading assignments. So we are going to look at uh, how do we go about making our submissions in assignments in, in various courses. So let's say, for example, your course actually has an assignment or your lecturer has allocated an assignment for a particular uh, course. So today's tutorial video is going to basically address the issue of how do you make submission for that particular assign assignment uh, requirement for that particular course. So let's get started. So right now, what we see in this particular um, uh, uh, view is my uh, dashboard. So when I log in, I have logged in as, an, uh, as, a, as a student, my name is displayed. And uh, the first thing that I, I see when I log in is basically my dashboard. Now this dashboard displays all the courses that I have registered um, for this particular quarter or session and it is in progress. So uh, I have these four courses registered. So let's say for now we go into one of these courses. As I click on it, I will be taken to the course, that particular course, and I am able to see the course page which displays the welcome message from the lecturer, um, resource materials such as the course outline. Then I have my first topic displayed, all the learning materials uh, or lecture materials uh, that, that is provided by the lecturer for that particular topic. Then I have my topic two and my topic three and so on. So coming to the point of assignment submission, as you can see, uh, my first topic has an assignment. So for me to make any form of submission uh, for this particular assignment, the, the lecturer has, uh, has made the question available right on the course page. So I can read the, the uh, question, which is, as you can see, and a brief uh, instruction also, which basically means um, the assignment should be about three to four pages and it is 20 marks um, that is allocated to this particular assignment. So for me to make any submission, I need to get my cursor over this word assignment. It is usually denoted by this particular icon, which looks like a paper and a folder. So we, I take my cursor over this assignment and I click on it. So when I click on it, it takes me to another page which displays the question for the assignment again. And it also brings some additional information which is known as the submission status. Now for the submission status, you will be able to see that uh, your submission status, have you made any attempts? Like if you have tried to submit anything previously or um, did you try to upload anything? So for now, this is the first time I'm trying to attempt to make my submission so it shows no attempt my grading status not graded now uh, take note of this once you have made your submissions and it has been graded by your lecturer it will show graded and your grade will also be displayed right here when it where it is showing grading status the grade that has been allocated or the marks that has been um, uh, given by your lecturer for that particular submission that you have made. Along with that, if there is any additional comments that your lecturer has made on that particular submission, it will be displayed here which shows submission comments. Other than that, please take note of this. There are other two major things that we need to keep in mind. One is the due date and the time remaining. Please
please be mindful that the due date is a serious deadline in terms of online learning because once the due date elapses the system will close you out you will not be able to make any more submissions if the due date elapses so the system basically is reminding me that to make my submission for this particular assignment i have 3 days and 13 hours remaining so once this 3 days and 13 hours elapse the system will close the option that is i will not be able to make any submissions for this particular assignment until or unless i contact my lecturer and he or she gives me special permission to extend my due date by whatever amount of days or hours that the lecturer will agree upon only then can i make a submission after the due date but my advice would be that don't take chances in terms of your submission it is always better that you submit at least 3 to 4 hours before the due date and time arrives so that means when your time remaining basically indicates you have 4 hours remaining or you have 5 hours remaining um try to make your submission given the challenges of internet connectivity and power outages that we are experiencing as a nation so for this particular um assignment my question is basically this and uh as a student i have taken note of this assignment and i have already prepared my response and saved it on my desktop i will go i will take you to my desktop and we will see where my assignment is saved so um let me close this page and here is my assignment so this is an assignment that i did on regular word document a um, regular word document and i have saved my assignment with all the necessary data that is required of me as a student and then i did save as for easy location so i did save as and i have indicated the course code and the course assignment let's say i'm i'm putting an assignment 1 so i say save and i save it on my desktop for easy location So here is I know where my assignment is sitting the assignment that I want to upload basically so let's go back to our course page and I know I have to make my submission so to make my submission or to upload my submission I have to take my cursor to this particular button which is add submission So when I take my cursor to add submission and I tap on it another page opens up which allows me to now upload my assignment onto the system so to upload my assignment I need to take my cursor over this blue arrow when I take my cursor over this blue arrow and click on it a dialog box opens up for me which is known as file picker when a file picker opens up you have these four different options on the left please pick on upload a file since we are going to upload a file in the system pick on the second option which is upload a file when i click on this a dialog box opens up which allows me to attach choose my file and attach my file So to choose my file I will take my cursor over this particular option which says choose file. So I click on it and another dialog box opens up which basically displays the content of my laptop. You can see my name and this is my this is my device. So when you click on this particular option your the contents of your laptop will open up. and i know where i have saved my assignment which is here on the desktop if you have saved it on documents you go to documents if you have saved it on downloads you go to downloads but me as i have already shown you that i have saved my my um submission on the desktop so i click on the desktop and all the contents of my de- desktop is displayed and here is my assignment that i want to submit 
But let's say for instance, by mistake, I pick up out of rush or out of anxiety or panic, I, I pick up on another assignment and I say, okay, open. Once it has opened, um, uh, once you can, the moment the, the, the name of your assignment is shown, the name of your assignment is, is displayed, you know that the system has grabbed your file. It hasn't uploaded yet, mind you. It hasn't uploaded yet. So it has grabbed the file. But then to upload the file into the system, I have to click on this option which says upload this file. So I click on this and it will bring me back to the previous page that I was in where the blue arrow was showing. Now the blue arrow has disappeared, but my attachment is showing, the attachment that I have just uploaded. Once I see this particular upload, I say save changes, and it will take me to the status page. Now in status page, you see my file submission, it is showing the attachment that I have just uploaded and all the other things remain intact, what we had just uh, discussed. So now when I look at it, as a student, I realize that the course that I am learning is PSYC211, but the assignment that I am uploading, it belongs to another course. So that means I have uploaded a wrong assignment. Now the system still gives you the option of editing your submission. How? I just need to click on this button, which is basically edit submission. Now, when I click on this, it takes me back to the page where I had uploaded my assignment. Now to correct my error, I just need to delete what I had uploaded previously and upload the correct file. So to delete, I just need to click on this particular document, which I had uploaded previously, and then say, delete. It will ask you again to ensure whether you're doing the right thing or not. So I will, the system will ask you, are you sure you want to delete this file? And you say, okay. And it brings back the blue arrow again so that you upload your, your correct submission now. So I click on it again. The file picker will open. I make sure that the option upload a file is clicked on. So I click on it and the option of choosing file comes. So once the choose, I choose the file, it takes me to my, my, the contents of my laptop. I, I know where my correct submission is. It is on my desktop and this is my correct submission. So I click on it and I say, open. This is my correct submission. I make sure that it is assignment um, two. And I say upload this file. So once I say upload this file, the, uh, the file is, is displayed. It shows that it, the, the file has been uploaded into the system. Then you say save changes. Again, you can see that the file has, has, been, has been attached and you can see the attachment. Now, uh, the beauty of this thing is you do not really have to call your lecturers to, to ask them whether they have received your assignment or not. The, it is not necessary because as long as you are able to see that there is an attachment against the command file submission, you can see your attachment with the file name, of the, the, the name of your submission displayed, then you know for sure that your, sub, your assignment has been uploaded. It's confirmed. Now, if you look at it, my assignment that I am making a submission for is assignment one, but the file that I have uploaded is assignment two. So it is an error again. So what do I do? I go back to edit submission and then I do the same thing. I delete and I say, okay, now this time, the same thing, I will, I will ask for the file picker. I'll choose the file. I'll go to my desktop and this time I make sure I pick the correct assignment. I open it, I upload this file and it is attached and uploaded. 
then I say save changes it takes me back and now I match the details this is the same course this is the same assignment okay now I am satisfied so now I can be confirmed or I can I can actually be uh, reassured that the correct assignment has been uploaded and uh, um, my lecturer will receive the correct assign correct submission for this particular assignment now this edit submission will be open to you as long as you have time remaining even if it is uh, five minutes or four minutes or even one minute remaining from your due date your edit submission button will still be um, active once the it's time uh, elapses once the due date elapses and you have no time remaining then the edit submission button will be inactive the system will not allow you to edit your submission any longer this is exactly why it is it is again um, um, important for us to note that we make our submission in good time that we uh, we make sure that we have made the correct submission and if there is any error we go back and edit our submission and all those um, options are availed to us so now we have made our submission this is how we upload assignment so I hope um, um, you have uh, basically benefited from this tutorial video and you have enjoyed the content um, before I say bye I would like to point out a few things in terms of uh, your online learning I know uh, we are all anxious and this is our first some for some of us this is our first time and uh, we are kind of nervous please don't be it's a very very user-friendly system and of course the uh, support staff is here we are we are here to help you out with any challenges if you are facing um, the support lines are open um, but I do want to leave a few tips with you as you uh, to make your online learning more uh, more uh, efficient. Uh, one thing that I want to like I would like to advise you is that in terms of online learning, one of the things that you need to keep in mind is to organize your material. We have a lot of things on our laptop. There are a lot of things pertaining to our work, our learning materials, and various other things. So in terms of uh, organizing your material, um, create a folder, um, name it um, April block, block Release and in that folder create um, other folders pertaining to the courses that you have registered, the four or five or three uh, or two courses that you have registered and each of these folders uh, you can keep all the materials uh, pertaining to that particular course so that it is well organized you don't have to go around looking for the material all over the place in your in your machines in your devices the other thing that I would like to advise you is um, uh, please uh, keep calm um, uh, technology is nothing uh, to be fearful of um, enjoy your learning experience on on the Rusangu University e-learning platform and um, I want to wish you all the best for all the courses that you have enrolled. May God bless you as you learn, as you undertake learning this particular session. Uh, stay safe, stay well, and um, happy learning. Thank you for watching this video. Take care.